Hi, this is Mike, and welcome back to 5 Minutes of Fantasy Sports. So I want to talk basketball today, and namely, is James Harden worth it? And what I mean by that, is he worth probably the first round pick that you used on him? So uh, let's pull up James Harden. He's one of the two superstars I picked on my team in my auction league, and I've been cycling through scrubs ever since. <laughs> Um, but, you know, James Harden, he still puts up points. He puts up triple-doubles occasionally as well. Um, today, uh, December 4th, he shot from the field. Let me actually pull it up. He shot 238 from the field, uh, which is not great. 750 from the line. So usually he's a free throw specialist, but today he wasn't great. So it says he shot 5 of 21 from the field and 3 of 4 from the line. So he didn't get a lot of free throws today. So he had 14 points, 7 rebounds, 14 assists, 1 steal no blocks, and surprisingly, zero turnovers. Uh, but if we look at his past games, six turnovers, five, seven, three, five. He's actually one of the league leaders, top five, I think, in turnovers, at least up until tonight. So James Harden was part of the big three. Um, one of the big three didn't want to get vaccinated, so he can't play in New York anymore, and that was Kyrie Irving, obviously. Uh, so the question is, can James Harden carry a team like he used to in Houston? So he's got a few big games. Um, three games ago, he was 34 points, 10 rebounds, 8 assists, 3 steals, uh, shot 550 from the field, and shot 900 from the line, which is great. Um, but then four, five, I think four games ago, he shot 267, and it was an ugly triple-double is what it said. Let me see if I can find that right up here. He's trying to figure it out to be a playmaker. Yeah, he scored 17 points. That was his big night. So he's kind of been up and down. So he did have a hamstring injury late in the season last year. Um, he said most of the summer was recovering from that. Um, but he's still ranked fifth out of all the players in the league. So he's still putting up great stats. Uh, the question is, is he worth trusting? So 14 assists is pretty great. Um, I'd actually like to check. Let's check his stats to see where he is as far as... Um, you know, assists by the rest of the league here. And I'm thinking he's going to be at the top of the field. So let's do all players, all players, and we'll do season average. That's fine. So he's averaging, uh, he's second in the league in assists. He's averaging 9.3. Chris Ball is averaging 10.1. Uh, so he's right up near the front of the league in assists. He is not top 25 in points he is 25 he's 26th in points he's averaging 20.9 three pointers made he is not top 25 either he is where is he 26 7 8 9 30 31 32 33 36th in three pointers made so that's a bit of a change from past seasons so I think James Harden will eventually figure it out. He knows that he's not going to be able to get free throws like he used to, uh, but he's still going to figure out ways to get to the line. That's definitely part of his game. Um, and he's also eventually, I think, going to figure out with Kevin Durant, um, you know, when to be the man, when to pass the ball. You know, 14 assists is pretty great. Um, he just has to decide, is he going to be the point guard? Is he going to be a point guard who scores? Um, he's still figuring all that out. So... Zero turnovers was amazing from James Harden. I wouldn't count on that every week, but um, he's definitely not someone to give up on. Uh, so he's kind of, I wouldn't say he's a sell high candidate right now. He's definitely not someone who you can sell high on because he hasn't been at the top, but there are people who maybe think that he's worth another big name player or maybe two or three stars if he can do a package deal. And if you need depth, it's definitely worth looking into. So. For me and my team, I did an auction league, so I was able to get Steph Curry and James Harden. Um, and because of that, I have two of the elite players. I know most people who do snake leagues or snake drafts aren't able to do that. Um, but I was happy with that, and I was willing to sacrifice, I guess you could say, depth to have those two players on my team. Because when they're on, they put up amazing stats in multiple categories. But... Um, as you can see, they're not always on. Tonight, Steph Curry was 7 for 28 from the line, which, or sorry, from the field, which was 250, and James Harden was worse, 5 for 21, which was 238. So they actually brought me down 
in my categories. If we take a look at my matchup today, um, I'm actually probably losing field goal percentage. Let me uh, click that again since it didn't work. Yeah, I'm actually down in field goal percentage by 0.02. I'm winning free throw by 0.01. This is actually a really close matchup. I'm down seven three-pointers. I'm down 27 points, two steals, two blocks, and then I'm probably going to lose turnovers. Um, so hopefully I can pull out the victory tomorrow. But, you know, it's putting a lot of eggs in one basket, so to speak. You got James Harden and you got Steph Curry, two great players. But if they're not on it, then you're kind of in trouble. So anyway, I think James Harden is going to get better as the season goes. Um, he's kind of he's kind of the man with along with Kevin Durant, obviously, who's the man. Uh, there's two studs in Brooklyn, and I don't think – that Kyrie Irving is going to come back. I think he's just down his path and he's sticking to that path of not getting the vaccine. So whatever the consequences are, he's not crying from his mansion, right? So anyway, I think James Harden is just going to be the point guard for the Nets for the rest of the year. So that's going to lead to some good fantasy stats. So I would suggest keeping James Harden in case you had your doubts. Um, the only possibility reason to trade him early is in case that hamstring flares up again. You don't want to be involved with that because that can be weeks or months before it gets better. So that's all I have to say for today. Um, that's it, and have a good rest of your day. I'll see everyone tomorrow.